17 years, 700 miles away, an alias and a new family later. U.S. Marshals finally catch Antron Hall settled into a new life here in Detroit. During the arrest, his, his son and his wife were there and uh, we asked we asked him, you know, on the side, hey, did, just, does your family know your your true identity? And he actually expressed to us that they didn't. He had to come clean. Just imagine that heartache for his family. Maybe if he would have just fessed up to this 17 years ago, he'd be out by now and, and have nothing to worry about, wouldn't have to to lie to his family for so long. Deputy U.S. Marshal Gregory Yon, who worked this case, says it all started in Anderson County in South Carolina back in 2006. Hall was charged with trafficking cocaine and running from police. He stood trial down there and uh, bounced out of that trial about halfway through it. Um, so they proceeded on with the trial without him and he was he was in the wind. He became one of the county's top 10 most wanted fugitives down in South Carolina until this week, tracked by U.S. Marshals to his home near Seven Mile and Losser on Detroit's west side. A fingerprint match that stemmed from a traffic infraction in Detroit led Marshals to him. He'd been using the alias Lehune Walton, a mashup of some family names. He almost seemed relieved when we caught him. He uh, he was telling us that it, it was a stressful life for him, looking over his shoulder all the time and, and not knowing what was going to be happening next. Deputy U.S. Marshal Jan says, let this all be a lesson that no matter how much time has passed, the marshals, they're on it, even almost two decades later. He's going to be transported back down to Anderson County, South Carolina, and put in front of the judge down there. Go through this all over again. Yes, ma'am. Reporting on Detroit's west side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.